go into after you and then they both collided didn't they with each other I wouldn't like to be Dennis Irwin if something had ended up in the back of the net and Peter Schmeich I don't think would have been that uh, understanding shall we say McManaman Bad didn't expect to get that and he was successful Collymore Fowler was on his own and the pass was over his head well, it was back in November, they reckoned uh, Liverpool lost the Premiership, didn't they, when they, they had a poor month, but after that they, they really surged forward and, and have played some wonderful football, but today they've just given the ball away so much, and I think that's a credit to Manchester, the way they've put them under pressure, particularly the back three, and uh, they've certainly got to get their act together shortly, otherwise they are going to fall behind. to uh, play too far away from himself. Collymore. McManaman. McAteer. Four possibilities, but not with a cross like that. And chase the goal. down by Scales. One by Butt, then by Fowler. Just about all the noise is coming from the supporters of Manchester United, as far as I can see, looking around the stadium. snapping at the heels of, of Redknapp and Barnes who are outnumbered look at them it's it's the quartet really of Buck, Keane, Giggs and Beckham Giggs and Beckham are tucking in with Keane and Buck and, and really are snapping away at the heels of Liverpool and we've had a third of the match no score here's Collymore well his sights are coming down it was a great deal better than his first effort Brian Kidd, like his manager, must be wondering why it is that Manchester United are not in front. Collymore's had two shots now. That was certainly the better of the two. Yeah, he's been a little bit more involved, probably, of the attack. And Stephen Manaman hasn't been able to get into it. Roy Keane sort of uh, staying fairly close to him when he picks the ball up, so he's not been able to run at them. And, and probably the quietest of the lot, though, in the opening half hour is Robbie Fowler, although we all know how dangerous that could be to say that. Manaman, Fowler just up ahead, Barnes, Redknapp, McManaman telling Jones to go down to the left touch line. Fowler, wide is McAteer. Useful ball, Collymore peels away, but nobody comes in from the far side. But it was a poor cross, wasn't it? I said, what a great crosser of the ball, Jason McAteer is. He, he put one duff one at the near post and then whacked that one about 20 yards beyond the far post, so um, I've definitely put the jinx on him, haven't I? Steve Bruce down on the bench alongside Brian McClare and uh, Paul Parker. None of them involved except for spectators. Clearance, Fowler. 
Good challenge, Janice Erwin. Cantona. Almost attempted to tackle then, Cantona. Had he done so, he would have been somewhat late. by Scales well, the neutral had hoped for an early goal we haven't had it and we're watching a rather curious contest it's interest gained because of some strange things that have been going on well, they've been forced into mistakes Liverpool more than anything but they're so deep, look, they're playing in there half, they're not hurting Manchester at all because of that little cluster in the middle and now they've managed to spread it. But you feel that by now, with Liverpool playing that way, United should have hurt them. In the last ten minutes, that sort of attacking threat has uh, diminished somewhat and uh, you know, that would have been worried Alex first and he, he would have feel at this stage they should have been ahead. Okay, given a hand it would seem the indication from the referee and the second word it goes against Beckham and he's a little unlucky Jones build up is slow now Collymore thought for a split second about a third shot Fowler. His first shot. Yeah, it was a bit of an apology of one, wasn't it? Uh, caught in two mind. And again, not being able to create anything really in that uh, penalty box. Most of it has been fairly deep, and uh, at the moment, the shooting boots not on. for safety, David James. Don't blame him for that. Irwin. But. Bit short. Irwin did well to get there. Cantona shouldn't have been allowed to. Cole was standing still. McAteer wasn't. Pallister. Key. Poor ball. Just in the right place, but nothing like hard enough. And uh, too close to the player, enabling the interception. Manchester United, the seventh in total, and the third team since the war to play in three successive finals. It's Cantona, but Beckham. Read across it too. Good clearing header by John Scales. He did ever so well there, John Scales, because he was caught a little bit at the near post, but anticipated the cross and, and made the ground to get there to retrieve it. Good build-up play by Manchester again. A telling cross by Beckham. Pallister near post. Cole further back. Cantona just on the edge of the six-yard box. That's David May for the diagonal run. James has lost it, but he just got a fingertip. A bit strong from Keane. He's not playing particularly well, Roy Keane. What a good ball that is from young Neville. Giggs. Little flick. Flag stayed down, but there were two in. I think McIntyre got stuck in there at the far post. I don't think the uh, offside decision would have gone their way. He played them all on, but fortunately the header just cleared everyone. But again, at the moment, it's frustrating watching it, I'm sure, for the Manchester United bench and their supporters, because they're not quite putting it in the back of the net, which they should have done by now. Oh, the 
about eight minutes of the uh, first half left to put that right. Giggs. Chance of a counter here, caught him off. Fowler's run into the far post and across, David May's clearance. Pannister made it rather difficult for himself, and then for Keane. Redknapp reacts as quickly as Giggs, who's in aggressive mood. McManaman. Defenders ball. Good head up. Beckham. Cantona thinks about the early run. That's a good ball from Beckham. Giggs, Cole and Cantona waiting forward. Beckham now on the edge of the box, here he is, number 24. Cole pulls away, Cantona back post. We well, cleared everyone because it was a shot, it wasn't the cross that uh, Cantona was looking for, but uh, certainly the younger players like Beckham, Philip Neville, Ryan Giggs, who we've got to include, Nicky Butler have settled down to the final superbly, look totally comfortable. Another youngster, John Barnes didn't quite manage to follow that through. Pallister. Cole. Nobody in there at the moment, now Giggs. Andy Cole was entitled to expect better support than that. Maybe they were just a touch surprised that he won the ball. Fowler. McManaman, Fowler again. Trying to go the long way around, and the door was very comprehensively closed. Well, that attacking trail of Liverpool getting so isolated, they're getting no support from the back. Seven Liverpool players are back in their half, and it's left to McManaman, Collymore and Fowler to try and prize open against six United players. Jones. Yes. Collymore. Barnes. Jones. Collymore. Racketeer. And a good cross this time. Answer in the negative. Right. We've got five minutes of. Can the final analysis will go down as a disappointing first half? Unless something lifts it. This is five minutes remaining. Still scoreless. Manaman. Manketeer. Liverpool players forward this time. McManaman. Giggs. Keane did well to let it run and was then caught by Redknapp. And the referee has decided that the match needs the statistic. And uh, it's a, a yellow card for that challenge by Redknapp on uh, Roy Keane. He was moving away the other way. Yeah, unlikely source for the first yellow card, Jamie Redknapp, but it, it was a mistimed tackle, and probably, uh, as you say, Dermot Gallagher feeling the time was right to uh, to show on. But uh, at the moment, again, still Manchester looking the more composed side, and I'm sure it's Roy Evans who will do more of the talking at half-time, trying to, to resolve matters, uh, and be quite happy if his side can stay 0-0 to go into that half-time talk. Beckham. The other two teams have played in uh, three finals running since the war. Arsenal and Everton. 
both finished up with a record of one win and two defeats. Manchester United's record at the moment is one success and one defeat. Third being played. It's Pallister. He grimaces and rightly so. Pallister. Jones. Barnes. First foray forward and then a pass like that. Dear, oh dear. Oh, Liverpool substitutes there. I wonder what Ian Rush thinks about all this. I should think he's quite pleased he's not out on the pitch because he wouldn't have seen much of the ball, would he? Because uh, you know his service from midfield in the back has been poor and the back really have struggled. It's really that distribution which you would expect Mark Wright, John Scales, Phil Babb to be comfortable with. But you know when they have brought the it out and they've got to bring it out really to commit the midfield where Manchester are totally dominating but at the moment they've squandered possession Jones Barnes Jones calling for it but in a static position Wins a corner. Sort of afternoon, the way the match is going, and uh, in its rather curious fashion, that perhaps Rob Jones will finally end his goal scoring. Uh, which failure to score. It's 214th match today, and he still hasn't scored for Liverpool. Here's Redknapp. Barnes. Manaman. Redknapp had taken a good position, wasn't seen. McManaman, here's Redknapp! When the crowd came to him, he lifted his head and up it went. It was better, wasn't it? Unfortunately for Manchester, it's Ryan Giggs who's left one against one with McManaman. A good pullback, uh, Mark Wright setting it up for Jamie Redknapp. Just snatches, doesn't he? But he did have a three or four yards, should have kept it down. Peter Schmeichel spreads his arms, but no need to worry about that one. And uh, a little bit of a glimmer, at least, for Liverpool on their build-up play. Referee has had one look at the watch. Big day for him, too. Hasn't had to whistle too much in the first half. Hasn't had to note too much in the first half. And probably like the rest of us, is slightly surprised that it's a blank score sheet in terms of Manchester United, who've dominated much of the half, but uh, haven't really too often seen the sights of David James's uh, goal. And the two managers go off. Roy Evans leading the way. Perhaps he feels he's going to need a little bit more time. Eric Cantona has one wonderful moment from him and some early passes, but the, the early flow did rather disappear from Manchester United, although they retain rather more possession. Certainly uh, more for Roy to say, Trevor. Yes, I think they've defended far too deep. I think they've got to push up as a whole unit. Uh, they've got to try and get uh, a battle in the midfield where Manchester have dominated, and it means the supply you know, to, to Collymore and Fowler and McManaman has been poor. So Manchester just really got to add that little bit of cutting edge to the dominance that they've had in the first 45 minutes. Well, so far, not the match we'd hoped for. Half-time in the 115th Cup final. The score sheet is blank. Trevor Barry, thank you very much indeed. Well, it's a chess match, really, and I suppose United have taken a couple of pawns, but, I mean, you know, that's I think, it. Yeah, I think Liverpool will be happy to go on nil-nil. Mm. I don't think they're defending too deep, it's just that it's always the same. If you've got one attacker up, you just need two defenders. United at times have got two up, and Liverpool have got five marking them. And what happens then is not only do you miss out further forward in the middle of the park, but because you've got five marking two, you know, they all think, well, I'm all right because I've got them. And in the end, nobody marks them. But having said that, Manchester United have played well. They've 
Manchester United have got a lot of talent on the side, but they don't have to work hard individually and collectively, especially the middle four. The middle four haven't given McManaman time to settle on the ball at all. You know, we've seen McManaman all season running at players. He just hasn't done it today. Yeah. What's your view of that first half, Gary? Well, it's disappointing. Um, clearly, as regards Liverpool anyway, they're certainly not as dazzling as the, their suits. But um, I think the, the, the big problem is that there are, they've got too many defenders. Uh, and we said it before the game, they don't know what to do with Cantona. He's getting all sorts of space behind them. And then you've got the confusion at the back. Who marks Cole? There's three of them. Each of them look at the moment like they're relying on somebody else to do it and nobody's actually picking him up. And he's had a lot of freedom. He's, he's not sort of made a, the best use of that freedom. But mm. having said that, United will be disappointed not to be leading at this stage. And, and Liverpool, you have to say, can only get better in the second half. And United have, have really not been under threat in defence, have they, Jim? United have, have looked comfortable in defence. Not really. I mean, yeah. just uh, to really confirm what's been said, they, the United are so much more composed in their system than Liverpool are in theirs. Not only in, a, you know, in a spreading the players around evenly, but Mkhitaryan has been free numerous times on that right flank. When the few occasions when Liverpool have had the opportunity to get back into the game, and virtually it's almost as if they, it's the first time they played the system. There he is standing out wide, and they're looking at him. And when they've played balls to him, it's as if he's not ready to go. If they're going to win the game, if Liverpool are going to win it, I think it's going to be from that right flank position. If it goes, you know, as it has done now. But, but it, yeah, you know. well, I was just going to say that uh, Colin Moore and Fowler have been no threat so far. In the Collymore's done a bit. He's had a few shots. They've been off target, but at least he's been putting himself about. But clearly, I mean, strikers often get blamed for for a team's net performances. But if the rest of the team are not together, are not playing well, it's impossible with no service. You can't, can't do, do it. You can't do it on their yeah. own. Yeah. Not against a team like Manchester. Good early United. chance for Manchester United with uh, Beckham. Very good play by Giggs. Cuts inside right. Looks up. Picks up Beckham. Who comes on to it? And he just hits a great shot. And it's an excellent save early in the game. Yeah, we see another angle of it. Giggs, I think, has been impressive. His, his movement's been fabulous throughout. Plays it into Beckham playing the other side of midfield. He's drifting. Fabulous strike. Beckham's been very impressive. Yeah, good right save. Throughout, and he's a very mature yeah. player, I think. Good actually, save, James too. has not actually been confident, really, throughout the match, but this was one moment where he needed to make the save. Trevor Brookings a little unkind, saying it's just the right height for a goalkeeper because it was <laughs> very well struck, but nevertheless, you've got to agree with him. If he hadn't saved that, Trevor good shot that it was. Never, never no, I'm just, <laughs> actually, I'm just counting the number of Liverpool jerseys in the box here. There's seven of them, and there's only two reds there. Giggs cuts inside, plays it to Beckham, and it's just what we're saying. You know, there's too many defenders in there, and they're not picking the men up. Having said we've, uh, what we've been saying, the fact is that Liverpool had a chance right at the end there and could have actually, you know, if well, Redknapp had got hold of it. I think it was the best chance of the game. Do I you? think it was better than any yeah. Manchester United chances. You've got McManaman, <clears throat> pace by Giggs, keeps a hold of it, 